Hey YouTube, back again. I've got another pickups video for you. Just want to show you what I grabbed this week. Uh, I've got a smaller pile than usual, so hopefully it won't take as long to get through. Um, so firstly, Steelbook. Uh, something that I don't get very often. Um, I've got the, the Savvy Exclusive Arrow release of the Hills of Eyes. Uh, this only came up for pre-order last Sunday. It's not due out for another three weeks, um, at least according to their release date. But I guess it's their exclusive, so they can pretty much release it whenever they want. Um, yeah, when when I heard about the announcement of this coming, I was actually quite on the fence on whether it was something that I was definitely going to get at some point. Um, but I didn't know whether I was going to go for it immediately uh, and then it came online on Sunday last Sunday uh, for pre-order uh, and it was shown as limited to a thousand and I'm thinking should I or shouldn't I uh, anyway at some point on Sunday it sold out according to Zavi uh, on Monday probably about lunchtime maybe a little before Email came uh, from Zavi saying uh, limited back in stock, limited, less than two hundred left. Now, how many times have they done that? Uh, this is I think this is the sixth, uh, the fifth or the sixth Zavi exclusive steelbook Arrow steelbook uh, in the last year, and pretty much all of them apart from. Uh, Big Trouble in Little China uh, I've got to a point where they've either sold out and then come back in stock um, but every single one of them they sent out an email at some point saying you know limited stock down to the last 200 or 300 um, every single one of them is still available even Hellraiser which that email came around last November uh, less than 200 left so they haven't sold the last 200 in the last six months eight months yeah, um, I would take that, I think, with a grain of salt. So, yeah, once again, I fell for their dupe um, and I bought it. I think with only a thousand, uh, that said, with only a thousand, um, the chances of there being a price drop in this before it sells out, uh, yeah, I doubt it's going to happen. Most of the others, Hellraiser, I think, been the exception. Um, and of course, Big, Big Trouble in Little China has only been out a few weeks. All the others have had price drops and then gone back up again, and they're still available. Hellraiser 1, I don't ever recall seeing that having a price drop. So, whether this will ever get a price drop, I don't know. Um, but I like the artwork on this, it's uh, just a little bit different to the, the other release. Um, I have the limited edition version of this, but not the standard Amray um, at this point. I may get it in the future if I come across it cheap. Yeah, so that's Steelbook. Uh, obviously, you've got Arrow's usual extras, loads and loads of them. Uh, it is a Region B. Um, oh, yeah. There's another limited edition exclusive Steelbook been released from Arrow. It's a US exclusive, this is UK exclusive through Zavi, who ship worldwide, so that UK exclusive means nothing. Uh, the American exclusive is Reanimator, which I have the, the limited edition version of that as well, which is a US release. Um, but Arrow are releasing that still book through a company in the US that does not ship outside the US, it goes with Amazon like they normally do, wouldn't be a problem. So that Reanimator Steelbook is going to be problematic, I think, to find um, without having to pay a scalper a stupid amount of money for it. Um, yeah, but we'll see. Anyway, moving on. My little rant. Uh, yeah, so from the charity shops, um, 
Firstly, from the British Heart Foundation, a couple of blue, a couple of Blu-rays, ninety-nine pence each. Uh, the Men Who Stare at Goats, and Be Kind Rewind. Also from the charity shops, uh, these four came from the. Uh, I'll see the British Heart Foundation again. The Salvation Army. There. Uh, four for a pound. Uh, and there was two immediately that they say that I wanted. So this is the goodies. Uh, the complete London Weekend television series. Um, after they'd done, I don't know, 10, 11 years with the BBC, uh, they moved to ITV. And I think they only did this one series with ITV before that was it. Um, but I was always a big fan of the goodies as a kid. I really, really did enjoy their stuff. So I'm looking forward to checking that out. Uh, also, some spitting image. Um, again, love spitting image growing up. Um, this is the complete seventh series. So just some random series. Those are both uh, network releases. Uh, and the, the, this was actually the first thing I picked up off the shelf before I grabbed those two. Robot Chicken Season 1, um, but then when I opened it up, uh, which I'm not going to be able to do single-handedly for whatever reason, it's really stuck in there, it's a, it's a digipack. Let's see if we can open this. There we go. Ah! Good stuff. Brilliant. Yeah, digipack. Nice set. Um, from this, I don't know what happened to this inside, it looks like it got chewed up. Um, but the discs, one of the discs was horrible. Um, I don't know if you can see, I don't even know which one it is. Um, it's not completely destroyed, but there are some, you know, it's difficult to see. But one of them was quite badly scratched. There was only one major scratch in there. Um, so I actually put this back on the shelf. Uh, but after I grabbed those two there was really nothing else that I wanted and I thought you know for 25p I'll give it a go. I might actually put the discs through my computer and see if I can create some ISO files from them. If the uh, DVD ROM in the computer can come can create an ISO file it means it can read the disc there shouldn't be a problem if it comes up with errors then I know there's going to be a problem playing back um, but like I say if it doesn't I've only lost 25p that said though this last one uh, I didn't get for me I got this purely for trading in at CEX it's only a 50p trading but it was the only other thing on the shelf that was really worth getting and I've been into CX in the last couple of days and I forgot to take him. Um, <laughs> Cliff Richard, as never before, bold as brass. Um, I have no interest in this. Like I say, it's it's a it's a 50p trading at CX, but the way I see it, that 50p means that's cost me out. So if it doesn't work, then I've not lost anything. Uh, yeah, so at some point this week, this will be going into CX. So that was it for the charity shops. Uh, then all the rest of these now are from, from CEX, which I bought this week. Um, so firstly, it cost me £3.50. Actually, it didn't cost me £3.50 because these were all bought with uh, vouchers. But for £3.50, the complete series 1 and 2 of Sherlock. Now, generally... I don't like buying box sets of either series or movies for that matter that are not complete sets. For instance, there's four series of Sherlock. But they're probably going to be making more, so generally I wouldn't get a box set for, for something like that until it was a complete series. But in this case, I've already got series three. I don't own Series 4, but I do also own The Abominable Bride. Both of these come with slip covers, and Series 4 is available with a slip cover as well. As far as I can tell, and have looked on uh, mostly on eBay really, um, I cannot find a single copy of either Series 1 or 2 with a slip cover. 
So I'm guessing that maybe they will never release with slip covers. So I'm actually quite happy to have these in this little box set. Because I've already got those. Um, and it was you know, less than two quid a season. So yeah, I'm happy about that. Then another movie that... Oh, not another movie, but a movie that I'm quite shocked I didn't have on Blu-ray. Um, I've got this on HD DVD, which is probably the reason why I've never bought it on Blu-ray. But it's a film that I absolutely love. That's Silent Hill. £3.50. Um, probably higher than I would normally play for a, a standard movie on Blu-ray. Um, something that isn't a, a, you know, a limited release or like a Harrow release or something like that. But uh, it's, it's, it's just a film that I love so much. Um, yeah, I grabbed it. And this one's just another cheesy shark attack movie. Uh, Dark Tide, don't know anything about it, but I just have a, a bit of a weakness for <laughs> cheesy shark movies. Uh, and this is the last to finish off the uh, Da Vinci series. This is the, the first one, the Da Vinci Code. Um, Angels and Demons out quite recently. Uh, I think from Poundland. And then Inferno I've had for a little while now, um, but I've not watched yet until I've got these other two on Blu-ray because I didn't have them. Then uh, a box set, this, was, this has been going down and down in price in uh, CX for the last couple of months, I've had this on the shelf. Um, it was originally 10 quid a few months ago, and it's down to 2 quid now. It's uh, Only two of these are 3D unfortunately, but uh, we've got Ultimate G's, Adrenaline Rush and Ultimate Wave Tahiti. Um, like I say, yeah, two of them are 3D. Uh, but yeah, grab those just to go into my 3D collection. And then some DVDs. Uh, Porridge the Movie. Uh, another 70s uh, sitcom that got a movie made. Um, which seemed to be the trend uh, back in, certainly in the 70s. Um, maybe even the late 60s as well. Stuff like Dad's Army and Stepton Son and I Being Served and... Uh, Man About the House, I think, and a few others, um, George and Mildred, all got, all sitcoms that got their own movies, and some of them got multiple movies, um, and they're all pretty good, I enjoy most of them, uh, yeah, so for a pound, um, I see Dad's Army all the time, the the old, original Dad's Army, from the TV show, not the new one, um, but this one I've, I haven't seen on DVD for a long, long time, and then it's, the box set I literally got for one movie. Um, Cash me if you can. I've I've got a two disc set of that, so I'll probably end up keeping that anyway because it's like I've extras that aren't on this. Um, but this came with the terminal, which I don't own. Um, more specifically, Castaway. Um, it's a long time since I've seen that film, uh, so yeah, I'm going to be checking that out again pretty soon. Do like that. And then another box set. Uh, this was a little bit more expensive. Um, and again, I got this for one specific movie. Um, I got The Machinist, which I got from the charity shop a few weeks ago. Um, but Wonderland, uh, The Woodsman I've never ever seen before. Wonderland is a fantastic film. Um, it's one I've not seen for a long, long time, based on, uh, it's based on a true story. Um, but based on true events, at least. But yeah, it's such an awesome movie. So I'm really looking forward to checking that out again. Uh, that was £2.50. They're all uh, Tartan DVD releases. Uh, and then these last three actually came from CX Online. Um, I had about £12 left on my voucher. Um, so I thought I'd have a look to see if there's any HD DVDs that uh, I didn't have on the website. And there was a couple that... Although I do own the movies on HD DVD, I didn't have the UK releases, and they're only two quid each at cost plus the postage. Uh, so I got First Blood and Rambo First Blood Part Two. Um, they sell on eBay for five a plus a piece. Um, more often than not, they're on buy it nows for you know, upwards of eight to ten pounds. So to get these for pretty much three pound fifty each. I was uh, yeah happy to pay that. Uh, and then finally, this I saw this originally I think in CEX a few years ago. 
It's called Hit and Miss. Um, I'd never heard of it at that point. I just assumed it was a movie. And I did actually think that was Emily Blunt when I first saw it. Um, but quite clearly, big name on the front there, it's, it's not. And it wasn't until last year I came across it again uh, on Network's website. They were having a massive 45% uh, off sale, which I did pick up quite a few Blu-rays from that. Uh, and I saw it on there and then it disappeared and it reappeared after the sale in the pre-order section uh, for, for reasons at the time I wasn't sure about and as it turns out this was released by Fremantle Media uh, and for whatever reason Network have now uh, got the rights to it and they released it last year a couple of months after their sale and they've removed, obviously removed, it's exactly the same artwork, I think. They've removed that logo and put their network logo on it. Um, I mean, as far as I can see, that's the only difference. The special features are the same. Uh, but this is really good. It's, um, when when I first, when I first saw it, when I saw it again on the network's website, I was reading the synopsis and it sounded really, really good. And uh, I've watched, it's a six episode miniseries that was... I think from 2012, written by Paul Abbott, who did Shameless. Uh, and I watched the first three episodes. It's it's a lot less action oriented than I expected, um, which is not necessarily a bad thing. In fact, it's really really good. It's really well written. Uh, yeah, so I've got uh, three episodes in. I'm halfway through, and I'm really really enjoying it. And I'm probably going to watch the last three uh, if I can this evening. Anyway, yeah, a bit of a mess, but that's everything that I've grabbed, uh, more or less over the last week. Um, yeah, a little bit less than normal. Uh, I've been to four Poundlands. Yeah, four Poundlands this week, and none of them have had any new stock. In fact, as far as Blu-ray is concerned, most of them have got maybe two or three titles left on the shelf, um, all of which I own. So yeah, that was disappointing. So hopefully there'll be more coming. Uh, two pre-orders, one that was supposed to come out at uh, the beginning of this month, or was it end of last month, that got put back to the end of the month. And the other one that's coming out at the end of this month has now been put back till the end of June. So uh, who knows when any of those are going to arrive. Um, other than that, uh, there's something else, I'm sure there's something else. Oh yeah, I, uh, I grabbed another steelbook uh, a couple of days ago from the Zoom sale. Um, really, really cheap. And only because that's part of a set that I'm collecting. Uh, so yeah, that should be coming sometime this week. Um, but no doubt there'll be the charity shops again. Uh, I've still got some more stuff to trade in. CX. So I'll have another voucher hopefully soon. Um, maybe I'll get some it from them this week. Who knows? Anyway, I'm rambling on. Um, yeah, so that's that's it. That's all for this week. Uh, thanks very much for watching. I'll catch you next time. Ta.